So let me give you an example now. Let's say you want to find out the area underneath the f equals x squared graph. So, uh, so let's say you want to find out this area here between uh, between two and five. So the way we're going to do this is to do, um, is to is to uh, get b minus a. So so b minus a. So this bit here is is three. Okay, cut up into cut this length up into n number of strips. Okay, so for for this specific diagram only, for this specific diagram, we are saying that this n here is three, um, because we, we're splitting up into three strips. One, two, three. It, it just so happens that b minus a is also three. So th this this b minus a here is is from here to here. So that's the length here. But then for this specific diagram only, n also happens to be three. So, um, so this, this delta, this delta x here, this delta x here, which represents this length here, is, uh, 3 over n. Uh, remember, later n will vary. n, we're going to increase the number of strips later on. But, but, but for this specific diagram, uh, this n here is also 3. Okay? For, for, just for this diagram. Okay? Uh, but then later on, we're going to increase the number of strips to, let's say, 1000. Or, or maybe one million, or maybe one billion, or maybe infinity. Well, later on, we're going to take this uh, this n to infinity. But for the time being, for this for this diagram only, three um, n happens to be three strips. Okay. So so if n um, if, if if when you get b minus a, this is three here, and then we're going to cut up into n number of strips. So this so so delta x here, delta x here is actually this length here is actually 3 over n, okay, 3 over n. Well, if 2 is here, then the, then the x coordinate at this point here will be 2 plus 3 over n, because because delta x is 3 over n, so so this length here is 3 over n. So the uh, the x coordinate here will be uh, will be 2 plus 3 over n, okay, and then the then the uh, the x coordinate right here would be well, don't forget one gap like this is um, is three over n. But then here you've got two gaps here, so so we need to times it by by two. Okay, that's that's how you get this six here. And don't forget we well, this is our, our reference point, so we need to add one two steps. So it's two and then add uh, two lots of delta delta x here. Well, anyway, the the x coordinate here will be will be this. Okay, so so what that means is that later on we we're going to get well, well, to work to work out the oops, sorry to work out the uh, the area of, of this strip here, we need to get the height. We need to get this height. Well, this the, this height here will be us putting this into the original function into this original function here. It, it's us putting this into here. Okay. So if if you want to know the height here, hang on. If you want to know this height here. Then you would put this into the the original function. So this bit here will be the height, and then uh, the height uh, the height times the the delta x here. So this is your delta x. So so when you when you get this times this, it will give you this rectangle here. Okay, it will give you this rectangle here. Okay, and then and then later on um, later on jump to the next uh, next delta x. So um, so the next triangle, which is this one here, uh, which is uh, which is this one here, will, well, the height here will be given by by this, and then we're going to times the the across here. The across here happens to be to be this. So this times this here will give us the area of this middle triangle, and and, and so on, and then plus dot 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 dot. And then um, don't forget this is for a, a general case. So later on, this here is for for n number of strips. So um, so then then we can we can simplify this whole thing here as this. Okay. And and don't forget n is the number of strips. Later on, we're going to increase the the n. So so the uh, the 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 area the the area between um, between two and five. Okay, the area between two and five is approximately is approximately at the moment it's just approximately this. Okay, it only becomes equal to 
when uh, when we start to take the limit as n tends to infinity. But at the moment, it's um, it's approximately the area at the moment is approximately this. Okay, so now we uh, we just need to use our uh, our algebra now. Um, so uh, so this here at the moment you've got this times this. So this here is a constant because if you look at this, it's the k that's uh, that's increasing each time. It's well, when when you look at this summation, it's a k that's um, that's being changed each time. So k equals two, k equals three. Well, this thing here is a constant, so we can take this in front, okay, and, and then just concentrate on on working out this uh, this summation here, okay, and uh, and remember remember our function our function was this. Uh, it was x squared here. So, so, um, so we've got to put this into the function here. So basically, that well, we, we, we're gonna we're going to square whatever we put it into here. Okay. So, so when when you put well, this thing here becomes this because because our function because our function is uh, is x squared. Okay. That that's why this thing here we're going to square it just because our if if our function were let's say x to the power of three, then we have to do to the power of three. Okay? If if our function is is square root of uh, of x, then we have to we will have to um, we will have to to square root it and so on. But because our because our function is f of x equals x squared, then then we've got to get this and square it. Okay. So anyway, from here it will then take us to here. And then multiply multiply out the brackets. So this thing times by itself will give you this. Okay. And then um, and then it's just now now it's just um, uh, using the the algebra summation. So uh, you can get this and then this and then this. So basically uh, this thing here will, will become this. This summation here will become this. This will then become this. Okay. Don't forget, this is like one block multiplying the whole lot inside here. Okay, so this is this, and everything here is this thing here. Okay, and then, and then, um, and then, yeah. So, so this is a constant. So when, well, well this there, there's a there's a formula that we we normally use that would then take this would then become four four n. Okay, and and then if if you look at this here, this is really a constant. Because it's a k that's changing. It's only this thing that's changing. So this this here is a constant. So we can actually take it out here. So it becomes this. Okay. And then now we can. We'll, the good thing about taking the constant out is that this becomes a lot easier to evaluate. Okay. The same goes over here. Um, this here is in fact a constant. So we can actually take it out. So it becomes this. And then this is is really it becomes a lot easier to evaluate. And this becomes uh, well. Remember, we we had a formula for working out the uh, the summation of this and the summation of k squared. Well, this thing here, you, using one of the earlier formulas in in one of the earlier videos, um, this then become this thing here. Okay, and then this bit here is uh, is is this bit here. Okay, so so nine over n squared remains. Um, 12 over n remains here, and, and so on. Okay, so, so from here, this thing here, to here, we, we, we used one of the early formulas. And then this, same as this here, we, we used one of the early formulas to get to, to get to this. Okay, well anyway, from here, it will take us to here. Okay, and then, um, and then, uh, and then it's just a matter of so here you've got a fraction times a fraction, merge these two together, um, these two will cancel out, uh, this and this will become a 6, and so on. Um, and then this and this will become a 2 over 3, and, uh, and the n here cancels out with one of the n's down here. So basically this will then become this. Okay. So now it's just a matter of algebra now. Um, somehow simplify this, multiply this out, that will then give you this. And then later on, merge this with this. That will then give you um, 10, 10 n, blah blah. So um, so from here, it will then take you to here. And then uh, and then what? Hang on. Um, and then and then what? And then um, oh yeah. And then 
and then this times this. Okay, so so the two ends will cancel each other out, giving you this, and then uh, and then this times this here will give you eighteen over n, and then and then this times this here will give you this thing here, because because here you've got a fraction times another fraction here, so it's top times top that will give you a nine here, and then bottom times bottom here that will give you two n squared, and so on, and then um, and then um, why why is this uh, oh yeah, and then and then well, just try and break it up here. This times this, uh, that will then give you this, and then later on you've got to get this times this, this times this, and then this times this. Uh, well, do whichever method you use, that will then take you to here. Okay, so remember the area is is approximately this whole thing here. The area is approximately that, and don't forget m represents the uh, m n represents a number of strips. So at the moment, the area, at the moment, the area, um, the area, don't, don't forget the area between 2 and 5, um, the area here is approximately this thing here. Okay, and remember, n is a number of strips. So, so at the moment, the area is approximately this. Um, but then, but then we are going to take the limit as n tends to infinity. So the minute we take the limit, then it becomes the true area. Because no matter what, remember the concept of, um, of limits. No matter what, what area you specify, I am 100% sure I can get to within your, your, your degree of accuracy. So the, so here at the moment, the area is approximately this. But then the, the minute we, we take the limit as n tends to infinity, then it becomes precisely equals to this thing here, okay. So now we're going to take the limit as n tends to infinity. So what what this means is that as n tends to infinity, it means that we are taking the the number of strips to to one billion and beyond one billion and beyond a billion billion and so on as as the number of strips heads towards infinity. Okay. Then then well the the minute we we take the number of strips towards infinity, then the then we we might as well say the area equals. It precisely equals this thing here. Well, anyway, carrying on. Um, so now evaluate the limit of this. So the limit of this is blah blah, and then the li the uh, the limit of this is this, and then the limit of this uh, becomes this here. Okay. So the limit of this is just thirty. The limit of this as n tends to infinity. So you if you look at this here as n tends to nine 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 nine. 18 divided by 9999, the whole thing here is going to be 0. It's going to tend to be 0. Okay? And then this thing here, there are lots of ways of, of finding out the limit of this as n tends to infinity. One way is to divide everything by n squared, divide this by n squared, divide this by n squared, but, but, uh, and then divide this by n squared. Well, there, there are lots of ways of um, evaluating the limit of this. One way is just to break this up into two fractions. So you've got this fraction here plus this fraction here. Okay, so, so break this fraction up. Okay, and then, uh, and then, um, well, don't, don't, use whichever method you want here. There are lots of ways of doing this. You, you can divide everything by the highest power here, which is, um, n squared. But here's another way. Break it up into two fractions. And then, and then now you've got a limit of this. Work out the limit of this. Uh, well, the limit of this here, as a, you see, n squared is going to head towards infinity um, a lot faster than this thing here. So, so therefore, this thing here is going to head towards zero. Okay, the limit, the, the whole thing will head towards zero. This thing here will, um, will 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 head towards eighteen over two, which will be nine. Okay, so so overall, uh, this will be this. The limit here will be nine. This limit here will be zero. So overall, um, don't forget the area here is precisely thirty-nine, not approximately precisely, because we've taken the limit as n tends to infinity. So what that means is that the area here between two and pi is actually thirty-nine, and it's precisely thirty-nine because we've taken the limit. Okay.